Hello, good morning and welcome to the Craigie Boy YouTube channel. How is everyone in this fine morning? It's dark, it's dry, so that's a good thing. But I'm good to go. I've got my coffee, I've got my bag. So rather than talk to you guys while driving, which is something I'm not quite comfortable with yet, I'll get there. I'll let you guys watch me through that windscreen right there and you can see my commute to work and on down to Graham's. See you soon. So here we are, we've arrived at the Hoof GP's house and I need to get stocked up as usual. And I thought I'd show you guys exactly how prepared we are for when we go to a farm in the morning. And there's our mover for the KVK. We never take it. But here is exactly what you need as a hoof trimmer to get yourself through the week. Or in our case, through the months. We have our Bovibon glue, our spray bottles, our wooden blocks that you only need for a cow that only needs a block for about four to six weeks. We have our rubber blocks which last a lot longer, very spongy as well, which is very good for the cow's flexibility. And our plastic blocks for the more severe situations. Plenty of nozzles and plenty of wraps. So we're pretty prepared to go. I just need to get it all into the crush now and into the box, ready for us to go so we've got plenty of backup and plenty in the crush. So let's get heading off and I'll see you guys at the farm. Oh, roll the intro. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. And that's us magically appeared here by the power of editing. <laughs> awesome. Now I just need to wait for Graham to get the pickup turned around and get parked up so we can get this crush off and get set up. And there he is. Taking his sweet, sweet time. Because he has to. See, this is why we didn't bring this crush before because we weren't 100% sure if it would fit in here with the trailer on. But now we've had it here a couple of times, we know we can do it. Slowly creeping by. We just uncouple these straps, which are holding it to the trailer. Push! And that's crushed off. And Graham's just putting the pickup into position, out of the way. Just like that, we're set up. That was easy. Now we get the sawdust out, make this place nice and safe for the cows and us. There we go, all done. Now I'll let Graham go and get the cows because I've just noticed when I went to get the sawdust that there wasn't that many. Be lucky if there's 20. Now you guys will have noticed that we're using the KVK a lot these days. That doesn't mean we're not going to use the Appleton again. We love the Appleton, it's an awesome machine. But the KVK has its different advantages from what the Appleton has. Which is great because we've got two machines that we can pick for each farm which one we think is going to be better. Better suited really. Both do great jobs, but they're both different sizes. Sizes in this situation do matter. 
But like both crushes, we've made modifications. Just things that help us, like people that don't trim or use the crush on a daily basis won't know that you need these kind of things. Like this for example, this bar, Graham put this in himself, welded it on here and here. And the bar just slides in there, which is perfect because before that we didn't have anything to keep this gate shut. So, and later on in time we'll probably put things onto the race gates and stuff like that to so, so that it blocks us out from the cows and the cows less threatened when they come up the race. And talking about the cows, here they come now. Come on ladies. The cows come in through here and on down through the parlour here. Then it brings them along the bottom and up through the race. Come on girls, come on. Go on. Let's go. These purple gloves are awesome. They stop the glue from growing your hands, which is really, really good. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting a, what do you call that? A colonoscopy. <laughs> Lose the hat and get a new hat. Now you'll notice in a lot of our videos, you'll see me putting the block and the bandage on. This isn't because Graham's lazy and can't be bothered putting a block or a bandage on. It's because it actually frees up time so that Graham can go around and do all the other feet. We don't like having the cow in the crush for too long, so the quicker we get the cow's feet trimmed, and the quicker we get the block glue dry, the quicker that cow gets back out. See, not all of us can be as fast as Graham at trimming. I don't know if you can hear Graham in the background pretending he's asleep. And there he is. Who sleeps standing up? No one. So this is cow 4860. And she has, what does she have wrong with her Graham? Soul also? Two. And a white line. Two. And both have blocks. Done. It's not often you see a jersey on a farm with Holsteins. That's there. Graham was just mocking me there because I called her, I said she wasn't a dairy cow. Of course she's a dairy cow because she produces milk. All cows produce well, milk. Well, she produces, yes, she produces. 
She produces um Well the milker for the the milk. dairy industry the dairy industry. The milker for the milk? Ah, but for us. They don't, they don't milk these cows. No, I know they don't. But yeah. they still produce milk for our calves. That's right, yeah. 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 I knew this. So what about beef cows? What are they? Beef cows are purely for our beef. That's right. Yeah. Yep. See, see I'm learning. So these for beef? Yeah. Uh -huh. They are, uh, but, but they've not got as much beef That's as correct. beef cows. Right. <laughs> see, these ones are made of yogurt and ice cream, aren't they? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Brown milk from this cow, so chocolate milk from her. You get white and black milkshakes from this cow. It's a chocolate chip. Light effort ice cream. So okay guys, if dudes are confused, so am I. When I first started working with Graham, the whole reason for me working with him in the first place was so that he had someone there to get the cows in behind all the time. So that it was a constant flow of cows going into the crush and out of the crush. The quicker you get the cows in and back out and into their sheds, the happier the cow will be. They don't like hanging around in a race waiting to go into a crush, especially when they've been in before. Coffee time. Well, oh, tea and matches. Don't think we'll really stop for a break though because there's only 24 cows or something. And I know I said there'll be 20, but yeah, there's just slightly more. Now I put these cows away. I don't want them standing around too long, especially when they've just had a nice foot trim. Here's go girls. In your beds. Hmm? Dying to get in, they're fighting over it. Ah, oh, there they are. Nice and relaxed. So this cow behind us is a bit of a flight risk. She actually tries to jump the gates all the time. This is one of the things you've got to watch out for when you're doing this kind of job. You can seriously get hurt. Look at this. Graham's actually getting the cows in. <laughs> So now it's time for us to get packed up. Graham's taking the cows away. I'm gonna clean the grinders, then we'll get the crush cleaned and get out of here. So that's me and Graham done for another day. Um, nope. We are. No, we're not. I'm oh, going back to Graham's to do a little bit of tidying up at the shed and set up the crush for tomorrow. Apart from that, we are done trimming cows for today. Anyway. Oh. Endless. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week when I do my next video. You can't see them. I pretend that looking at this camera is me talking to them personally. Well, okay. you, no, you are talking. Like, to exactly. Them I maybe can't see them. their faces, but I'm sure they're lovely, nice people. Okay. Right. But I watch this, so you're including me in that category. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Apart from Graham. Anyway. All day. Remember to subscribe <laughs> and like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, oh well.
No, there's a dislike button. They could use that. So you could just don't, don't, like, don't, like. don't, don't <laughs> click the dislike button. Just, just don't do nothing if you don't like it. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't do nothing. Well, that, that's a, like that's a double negative. So that means do no, something. Just don't do anything. Don't, just if you don't like it, just subscribe and don't put like or dislike. Okay, if you don't like it. They but probably make sure never you subscribe. made it this far if they didn't like the video. Yeah, but there'll be newbies coming in and that. Can the the new? They would click off after ten seconds if they didn't like it. True. They like you, so they must like me more. Like I'm a dead like. Well, I think I'm a likable guy. Anyway, till next time, guys. Catch you later. I was expecting you to say goodbye. Oh, anyway, bye. bye. Wait, anyway, until next time, guys. Catch you later. Bye. That better. That's much better.